are three models of the OH-58 helicopters used in the Army today. Two models, the A and the C, are primarily used for observation. The D model is used for armed aerial reconnaissance, intelligence gathering, surveillance, and target acquisition. All models are powered by a single turbine engine located directly behind the cabin. The important differences of the D model will be explained after discussing the A and C models. For the emergency responder, the doors, seating arrangements, and switches are the same on both A and C models. The minimum crew is one, the pilot. There may also be a co-pilot. Two additional passengers can be seated in the rear, bringing the total seating capacity to four. The restraint system found in the passenger compartment is a four-belt, single-latch system. The belts are attached directly to the airframe and are adjustable. There is no inertia reel and only a slight forward movement is allowed by the shoulder harness. The pilot seat belt is also a four-belt system. Two shoulder harnesses and two lap belts join at a single pull-type latch. The front seats have an inertia reel. The inertia reel release lever is located on the lower left side of the seat. All belts in the OH-58 are released by pulling up on the release latch. The fuel capacity of the A and C models is 71 and a half gallons of JP-8, held in one fuel tank under the passenger seat and the rear compartment. Performing an emergency shutdown of the OH-58 is done in four steps. First, shut off the engine. Second, shut off the fuel. Third, turn off the battery switch. Finally, disconnect the battery. Here again are the steps, more specifically. Shut down the engine by pressing the idle release button and rotating the throttle clockwise. Failure to press the button will cause the throttle to bind. On the forward edge of the overhead console is a fuel shutoff lever set in a track. Push it forward, then to the right, and finally to the rear. Remember, if the lever is not pushed forward and to the right first, it will not slide to the rear to shut off the fuel. Turn off the battery switch located on the overhead console. With firefighter gloves and hoods on, the switch may be hard to single out, so push all switches in the front row rearward. The final step is to disconnect the battery, which is located on the left side in the compartment behind the passenger door. Push on the two large circle fasteners to open the compartment. Disconnect by rotating the quick disconnect counterclockwise. To remove the pilot, remove his seat belt by pulling on the quick disconnect release latch. Remove each belt and set aside out of the way. Next, disconnect his helmet cord by pulling the connector apart. Whenever possible, leave the pilot's helmet on to protect his head. The flight controls on all OH-58 models can be moved when hydraulic power is lost. The doors can be jettisoned. If the doors are jammed, break the plexiglass to gain access to the jettison lever on the door frame. If the door can be opened, pull the lever aft. However, because it is not power assisted, the door may not fall free. Have a second rescuer pull it out and away from the aircraft. During extrication, ensure the pilot's feet are free from tail rotor pedals or from metal that may have been torn during the crash. The pilot can then be removed and taken to the staging area for medical attention. This concludes the orientation on the A and C models of the OH-58. All four doors can be jettisoned and are not power assisted. The flight controls can be moved without hydraulic pressure. The tail rotor and main rotors are very close to the ground. Total fuel capacity is 71 and a half gallons. Personnel on board can range from one to four. The latest version of the OH-58 is the D model. The commonly called Delta model is a state-of-the-art observation helicopter used in close combat armed aerial reconnaissance, intelligence gathering, surveillance, and target acquisition. The easiest identifiable feature of the D model is the mast-mounted sight unit. The improved Delta model, named the Kiowa Warrior, includes provisions for mounting and firing multiple weapon systems. The normal crew of the OH-58D model is two. 
Access to the cockpit is the same for all OH-58 models, through doors on both sides. There is no passenger compartment in the OH-58D model. That area is full of sensitive electronic equipment. Although the fuel tank is located in the same place as the other models, Delta model holds 112 gallons of JP-8. During emergency rescues, the weapons system must be saved. To prevent accidental firing of the Hellfire launchers, turn this switch on the front of the launcher from arm to safe. Insert a weapon ejector rack safety pin in the safety hole. Shutting down the engine is the same as for other OH-58 models, with one exception. The idle release button on the D model is in the center of the throttle rather than on the right side. On the D model, the battery is in the rear of the aircraft nose compartment. Fasteners hold the door shut. Any common tip screwdriver or seat belt cutter will open this door. To disconnect the battery, rotate the connector counterclockwise. This concludes the Delta model orientation. Points in review are Normal access is through the front cockpit doors. Total fuel is 112 gallons of JP-8. Personnel on board is two. Knowing how to handle all kinds of emergency situations for every type of aircraft takes many years of practice and training. While this continuous process takes place, crash rescue teams can review each of the scenarios presented in this series. Again, this video can in no way replace intense, hands-on training, but it is a good orientation.